What's going on YouTube? Gene Seer, we are back today playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and we got ourselves a Justified Brizian and Trick Room team here. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on the channel. This team right here was sent in by my boy Tashar. He sent in this team over on my Instagram page. There will be a link down in the description below, jeans underscore YouTube on Instagram. If you guys want to send me teams, just DM me over there. I try to get back and respond to all the DMs. I know I get a decent amount, but I will try to respond to whatever DM you guys sent and take a look at all the teams that are sent in as well. But rocking out on this team, we got Durant over here, and Durant's an absolute beast, but on this team, he's a support Durant. This is my first time ever using one, and it looks actually really fun and very strong. Like, it has Protect, Beat Up to go with that Brizian, Screech actually lower defense so we can just dominate and wipe out Pokemon in one shot, and Thunder Wave just to pester around and throw Paralyzes out on the field. Also has that Focus Sash so it doesn't get one tap, and then Swarm has its ability, which really won't do anything considering we have no bug moves. On the right side, we got Life Orb Primarina that will work well up against like Talon Flames, all that good stuff. Well, basically anything. Primarina is an absolute beast with the water and fairy typing, but it's going to thrive on the Trick Room because it's a rather slower Pokemon. It has Hyper Voice with Liquid Voice, makes it a water type move. Dazzling Gleam, Protect, and Hydro Cannon for big stab damage. Then we got Clefairy right behind my face cam. You guys already know about Clefairy. Just nice support mod. Going to take away damage and soak up some shots with the Friend Guard, Evo Light, Ally Switch as its first move. Follow me, Helping Hand, and Wish. We can actually send out a Wish later and uh, maybe get some HP back for our other Pokemon. Then on the right side, we got Vickable, and Vickable is so strong, especially in a Trick Room. It's got that Iron Ball to slow down the speed, Levitate so it can't get hit by ground moves, and then it is Bug and Electric, so it has two nice stab moves with Thunderbolt and Bug Buzz, and then Flash Cannon for coverage with Protect. Everyone knows that you gotta rock out Protect. Protect is awesome in double battles. Then in the bottom left, we got a Trick Room user with Configurus, with Mummy, Ability, and the Cobra Berry, Nightshade, Body Pressure, Trick Room, and Ally Switch. And then in the final spot, we got Verizian. This thing, if you get it beat up, it's gonna attacks and boost to the roof and it's gonna be able to absolutely dominate this thing has protect leaf blade close combat and bounce actually dodge attacks but guys we want to try out this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with the squad First battle coming at you guys, this guy has a Tailwind Setter of Noivern, Grimmsnarl for support if I had to guess, Frostmoth, and Dracozolt over here, Dracozolt's an absolute beast, Urshifu, and Weezing, so how do I really want to play this one? I either want to go into the Verizian Durant lead, or I could just go for a Trick Room. I feel like Trick Room can help us out tremendously if I can pull it off, that's that's going to be the problem, it's pulling it off. Hmm, I do have the Culver Berry, um, I think I go for the pull off, I think I go for it, let's go for the Trick Room, let's go with Clefairy and Configures. Clefairy, Configurus, Vickable, and Primarina. We go with Trick Room Squad instead of going with Verizian and Durant. But I do want to show off Verizian and Durant in this video, but I just feel like the Trick Room side is going to work 10 times better, especially up against in this battle. But let's get it. Let's get rolling with this. What did I go last video? I think I went 1 and 2, so we got to go 2 and 1. Well, we got to at least try to. There's no way we're going 0 and 3. We do not do 0 and 3 here. Not happening. Not happening for Jeans. But this guy goes to Noivern. And uh, Glaring Weezing, he could go, what is that new move, Corrosive Gas? It just takes out my items and all that. But it's fine, you can actually uh, take it out. So there we go, everything's filled up, no abilities allowed. I'm still going to roll out with this Trick Room, no problem. And then do I just go into a Follow Me, or do I Ally Switch here? Could wish. I could wish. Um, I think I just go into a Follow Me, and I just start soaking up shots. Make sure I get off this Trick Room. Let's see what this Noivern does. Hopefully the Noivern wastes a turn and goes for a Tailwind, I'd be totally cool with that. There's no way he wasted a turn with a Tailwind. Not a chance. Follow me comes out. Yay. Yeah, oh, get over here. Bring your moves over here. This thing's got to go for maybe a strange stream. Oh, you do waste a turn with Tailwind. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Wasting a turn with Tailwind here. And this thing's going straight for a Sludge Bomb. It was going after Clefairy anyway. And Clefairy's going to be able to soak up. That's totally fine. And we get off Trick Room, which is wonderful. So he just used a Tailwind. That's going to help us out a lot more. And then I'm just going to follow me again. Have Clefairy go down and try to do some damage with my boy Configurus over here with a Nightshade. Well, I could go for a body press. I really could, but it's not very effective for both. I'm just going to nightshade it over onto the Noivern. Do a little bit of damage, and then just follow me. I mean, do I even have to follow me? I could send a wish. Nah. We're just going to go follow me. I'm totally cool with that. And then just have configures out here. I could ally switch. Dynamax my next turn. Protect comes out from, from Noivern. Smart play. Smart little cookie play over here. You smart little cookie, dude. Nice read. Nice read going on with that. Heck, man. Look at that wonderful protect. Nightshade. Block. Blocking over here. My real question is, who do I get out here? You taunting me. You taunting me. Take me out. I want I want myself dead. But I think I have to take damage now. Uh, yeah, I struggle. I struggle out. Because I have only support moves. So he just taunted me. You should have just took me out. Like, taunt would have been maybe a good first turn play. 
but at this point you could just took me out and uh, unless he's trying to waste out this trigger that could be the play but i at least want to get the fairy dead this turn no he's gonna withdraw bruh 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 and i think he's gonna start wasting out this trigger and get out trigger so that's actually not bad for us now sludge bomb into my clefairy please please fairy has no moves left we're gonna struggle out here hey do a little bit of damage was that gonna kill me does not go for sludge bomb please you taunting again you buttery biscuit man He's playing this one smart. Okay, so Clefairy definitely goes down here to the struggle. And Dracozolt is probably going to protect if I had to guess. Maybe I should have went for the Weezing and predict that protect coming out here. Let's see what you're going to do. Let's see what you're going to do, fool. Told you. Man, dude. See, I say it in my head and then I click a move and then exactly what I says happens. Then she comes out. Uh, Clefairy's going to go down to the struggle. I'm cool with it. I wanted uh, Clefairy out of here anyway. Oh, it struggles over on that side. Nice. Way to go, Clefairy. Way to go. And what are you going to do, kind sir? What are you going to do? Sludge Bomb? Oh, Strange Stream. Okay. Strange Stream coming out here. So he did actually play that one uh, rather well. Better than I... Better than... That was already four turns? That was already four turns? I gotta get Primarina out here. And I gotta take out that Draco Zolt. I'm Dynamax and Pre. Got a Dynamax Primarina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take out you buddy boy. Actually, what uh what Pokemon does he have? I'm dropping a fairy shot on this, and I feel like fairy's totally fine. For all these Pokemon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yo, fairy's chilling. And he doesn't have a protect. Ooh, baby. Oh baby, we rolling here. We are rolling. We're gonna nightshade over onto you. And then I'm going to Dynamax and drop a Starfall. And just say, yo, get out of here. And just say, yo, get out of here. Drop this last slot. He's going to withdraw the soul and he's gonna go into not Noivern, not chance. He does go to Northern. Okay, so Northern's dead. It's gotta be Sash. It's gotta be Sash, right? If I had to guess. 100% Sash. I'm trying to waste off this, uh, this taunt right here so I can ally switch. That's kind of what I want to go for. But I think if I, I think I can protect next turn if he gets out Draco though, because Trick Room will end. I'm thinking I could, uh, go for a guard and then, uh, ally switch later and take out the Zolt. I think that would be the play. Jade comes out. Doing a little bit of damage over there, and then Noivern's either gonna go down or trigger Sash. I think this thing's gonna be Sash, in my opinion. Bop. Yeah. Okay. So this thing was Sash. Kind of saw that coming. Um. Hmm. 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 Tricky, tricky, tricky one over here. This is a tricky one. Um. That one definitely ends here. Sludge bomb, super effective. Doing some damage to me. Leave me alone. This dimensions are gone. I uh, gotta set up another one here. He's just gonna. He is going to taunt me. I cannot even do it. I'm taunted. Bro, what you mean? I'm gonna go here and then I'm going to uh, go set ring. Go set the ring. Hmm. Or do I just go for Starfall? Starfall's not very effective, so I'm gonna just go straight into a uh, geyser. I do as much damage as I can. And now he's going to set up the tailwind, which is scary. Real scary. But I have to get rid of this thing so maybe I can set up a trick room for my big bowl to come in here and win this match for us. Oh, this one's gonna be so close, man. This one's gonna be so close. He's starting to take the upper hand. Like, he's making some good plays. Making some real good plays. But I'm surprised how quick my, that trick room and tailwind ended. Like, it feels like it was only like two or three turns, but now he played it real well with taunting me up and all that. And now he's gonna Dynamax. And who are you Dynamax? Weezing? Dynamax and Weeze? Are you Dynamax and Weezing? He is, yo. Okay. I'm thinking that Draco has got to be maybe Sash. For you to Dynamax the Weezing? Instead of Life Orb and Hustle? Let's see. Air Slash comes through. Oh, yes, sir. Configure us. Yes, sir. Ooze comes out. We should be able to eat up an Ooze. All day. We should be able to eat up a nice little Ooze. He's going to get that plus one. We do eat up the Ooze. And I can go for a Trick Room next turn and just protect out. Maybe we pick up the double kill? I don't think we're going to pick up the, the, the double kill. But Weezing does outspeed me, which is tough news. Guys are coming out. Get after it. Get after it. Take him out. You're not taking him out, are you? Oh, we do. Was that a crit? Was that a lovely crit? Please. Please show me that was a lovely crit. It might have not been it. It was just big damage. Oh, yes, sir, Free Marina. Yes, sir. Wasting this dude's automatic. That's a huge change of tides there, dude. Huge. Neutralizing gas is gone. He's going to frisk me. See my items, yo. Leave my items alone. Leave him alone. We're gonna lose some HP. We're down to 50. Um, I could just protect this turn. I want to try to get off that trick room. I really do. But I don't think I should protect. They're gonna outspeed me. That's a fact. He's gonna bring out his final two. No more taunt. Oh, 
dude. If I can get off this trick room, it's game. But the real question is, do I go for the trick room or do I go for the ally switcher? I think I have to go for the trick room. Brawl Smoth and oh, this is double trouble. I think I have to protect and go for the trick room, right? Yeah, we're going for trick room, and I'm going to uh, go for the guard. Go for guard. Yeah, I got it. I have to go. I have to. It's a must. It's a must. This thing actually might quiver dance. Little Frost Moth. Frost Moth is actually like underrated. It's so good. It is so good, especially once you get set up. Like once you set up, you know, Frost Moth would just absolutely run. Like I got murked by a few Frost Moths before. Like absolutely just torn apart by them. <laughs> but this dude's. This dude, we got him. We got him where we want him right now. We got him pretty good right now, especially after we got that Weezing out the way. I think that was a bad call by him to Dynamax that Weezing and go for the special attack boost. I think that was, that was uh, rather dumb. Considering you have these two Pokemon out here who are fine Dynamax Pokemon. We're gonna guard here. I gotta get off this trick room. Don't you dare double up into me. Tailwind comes out. Oh, he's Tailwind. We should be fine. We should be fine. Jinkers will go after Primarina. Bolt Beak. Oh my god. We got this one. That's game. That's game, baby. Set off this trick room. You're trying to set up Tailwind. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Night, night. That's game, set, and match. Well, I hope so. I hope it's game, set, and match. We still got Vic Bolt back here. We still got Vic. So, body press? Do I body press up on you? And then if we can get off this Dazzling Gleam. Okay, we will be cooking. Someone's got to protect, right? Yeah, that's going to say. Somebody has to protect. Do you protect there? Or we're doubling up over onto the Frost Mall side. Body press. Ah, hey. Jump up on him. Big old coffin. Doing some nice damage. And can the Gleam take out? Oh, you buttery biscuit. Eating up down on that Citrus Berry? What you mean? Get him out of here. I just need my Primarina to stay alive here. I need Primarina to stay alive. Get it. Not bad damage. And what's Frostmoth going for? Go after my configures. Inky Drain, no. Okay. Primarina down. I feel like a body press might be able to take out Frostmoth. It should be able to. Unless he protects. But I got Vickabolt coming out here. Vickabolt, yeah. We do have we do have a nice little flash cannon. A nice little coverage. But that Jericho's ult is the scary one. He is the scary one. And he might be uh, choosing to a bolt beat. That would be totally fine by me. We're going to body press over on you. And then uh, have a bug buzz over onto you. Get that stab damage on. And first battle to jeans? I hope so. I hope so. Let's see what you got, dude. Let's see what this dude has. He's sitting in a tough spot. Because body press should be able to take out this frost mall. There's no way that uh, the Trickles can take me out. Right? That's, yeah. Okay. GG. GG, baby. Let's get it. See you later, Draco Zolt. And then this body press is just going to roll through and clean it up. So good call by me to actually go into the Trick Room Squad and uh, play that one rather slower. But I feel like he made a mistake. I think he had a chance to win this game. He Dynamaxed the Weezing, which was his mistake. And then he didn't take the opportunity to take out my Trick Room Mon. For our second battle right here, we're going up against a Trick Room-ish team. Kind of half and half. Could be, could not be. Because Slowbro can roll out with a Trick Room. And then he has the Rain with the Milotic and then the Alchemy and Gudra combo. But he has a lot to go with that team. But I think we could go with the Durant and Versing combo. Try to show that off. Lead them to uh, bring Club Fairy. And then Primarina. Let me check out Primarina's speed real quick. I really do want to check out Primarina's speed. But yeah, see, it's not bad. Like, Primarina's definitely like one of those Pokemon that you can bring in like anywhere. So I am going to go in with these two and focus on... Uh, Damage, which is Primarina and Verizian, and then have Pester around with my Durant and then support my Fairy, and hopefully we can take this match and get rolling with 2 0. But first battle was pretty strong. First battle wasn't bad. Hopefully we can just like absolutely dominate and not even give the opponent a chance to win this one. But I don't know. I don't know. This team, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, but it, I feel like it's, uh, it's a little different. But I do like them. You guys already know me. I don't like to use this, like, the same teams that everyone else is using. I like to have fun, use some different Pokemons, and get out there and win some matches. But yo, oh, Shiny Verizian looks sick. Looking real good. Um, Definitely Trick Room's coming out here. I think I beat up and I get after this. I think I beat up and get after this all day. And I could actually just start taking speed advantage. Or just totally dropping a uh, Overgrowth. Those are not very effective on both. Oh, that's tough news. That's tough news. Hmm. Do I still get to do this? But who's going to drop the Trick Room? It's got to be Slowbro, right? I'm going to beat up on me. And then I got to uh, boost my speed. And hopefully take this thing out. Because this thing's got to be Trick Room on. Or do I take out that Delmine? They're both strong Pokemon. Both really strong Pokemon. Hmm. If anyone's going for Trick Room, it's going to be slow, bro. So I'm going to get after a slow, bro. I'm going to Quick Draw. Dude, you really go first? Can you go Trick Room first with Quick Draw? 
That'd be so whack. That'd be so whack. I don't know what the ruling is on that. Team did quick draw. I think he's going for trick room. That's why it didn't like go through. Or I have no idea. We'll see what happens. But don't you dare tell me you can quick draw into a trick room. That'd be so OP. That would be so... That'd actually be really cool. Let's just see what happens here. He's going to go straight for a flamethrower. Okay. We're sashing. We are sashing up. Awesome. Now, what's called should go. Thank God for the sash, yo, dude. That quick draw coming in clutch, man. Beat up comes out. Awesome. Get rolling with that. So, no trick room coming out from him. I probably should just dumped on the uh, Delmai then. We just tried taking me out. I, I guess he thought my Durant was the mom. Was the big dog. But, nah. We got support Durant coming in clutch here. Helping us out. Getting after it. Hopefully, he doesn't quick draw again. Because that uh, flamethrower is rather scary. Especially up against Verizon, too. Because Verizon's big old grass type. I'm gonna start boosting our speeds, and then maybe if I get another turn with uh with the rant, I can just pester somebody. I can either screech them, lower the defense. I could beat up again, but I'd rather not. It's already plus four, and here comes my key berry. Yes, sir, key berry coming in clutch to give us that defensive bulk. And airstream's gonna come in here and should just be able to take this in. I'll say night night, see you later, kid. Get out my face. Get out my face, slow bro. I ain't dealing with you, dog. I ain't dealing with you. So I'm hoping the rant could just be chilling here. And then we can get off a nice, lovely little T-Wave on a, the next Pokemon he sends out. Because I'm not worried about the Delmise now. Shadow Claw comes out. Easy eats. Tasty snack right there. Let's get it. So we're looking good. We're looking good to get things started here. Um, who is he going to pull out here? Tricky user? I think that was his Tricky user. And he just thought my Durant was uh, was the Mon. Alcremi's going to come out here. I ain't worried about you, Alcremi. Not even close. Not even, not even worried about you. I think I'm just going to uh, Thunder Wave over on you. And then just Airstream, get that speed boost once again. And take out this Delmise. I should be able to one-tap the Delmise, even though it's not stabbed. We're plus four, baby. We are plus four. That's big old damage. And the super effective boost to it. Bruh. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. And I can just pester around here. This thing actually might go for a... What is it, an outlet? Does this thing learn an switch? Usually, I thought uh, he was going for... Oh, there's the Dynamax. Is he Dynamax now Kremit? I could see that happening. I could see that happening. Hmm. Yeah, Alcremi is coming out here and probably going to take out my Vrizzian, but Vrizzian should be able to take out Delmise first. And then I think we should be, uh, I think we should be fine. I don't know, it's going to, I don't know, this one's going to come close. It's going to come close, definitely Delmise dead. Oh, you guard it, you guard it, let's get it, let's go, let's go, I'll take that all day. I will take that all day, big plays for me, big plays for me, Airstream comes out, Delmise is gone. Unless it's Sash, not Sash, Delmise out of here, yo, big plays for me. That is awesome. That guard kind of just... Because I was just about to say, if you take out my Vrizzian, then we might have a tough time here. But he guard it, and he gives my Vrizzian another shot here. So I'm thinking of just screeching and dumping on this uh, G-Max Alcreme and ending the match. And just saying, night, night. Because Gooch just got to be next one. No, it's Milotic. And Milotic is going to protect here. I kind of I got a good feeling about that. So I'm just going to go for a screech over here. Drop your defense. And 100% just take you out with a stab match over there. Get this thing out of my face. Get this Alcreme out of here. Giant wedding cake out of here. I want it gone. I want it gone so bad. There's no way Milotic's doing anything to my uh, Verizian. And yo, that is how I want to play this battle. Just get after it with Verizian and Durant and just run things. Because once you get that beat up rolling and you start like rolling and getting some kills, like you'll just absolutely just start sweeping. It's like, uh, like this one's over. Screech minus two defense. And then we're plus four already. Like, bro, get out of my face. Screech. Yeet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice big old screech. And then here we go. Get the overgrowth rolling. See you later. See you later, pup. Get out of my face. See you next week. Get him out of here. Oh my god. You see how fast that bar went down? Just marked on that thing. Just marked on poor old wedding cake over here. Wedding season's over, baby. W wedding season. What is it? June and July? Something like that. I think it's July. Consider wedding season. That's one of the most wedding season. This is a nice summertime. Yo, it's over with. It's over with. You really think an ice cream's gonna do anything to me? You better cancel this battle. You better cancel this battle before I absolutely murk on you with this max overgrowth here. You better cancel. Because you know it's coming. You know it's coming. Oh, I can't. Well, I do have Leap Blade. Leap Blade does look good. Oh, yeah, this one's over with. GG. GG, man. G to the G's. Leap Blade. Uh, you. And we are gonna screech up on it. You gotta quit. Four mile with it. You do not quit. Wow, dude, poor Milotic. Just gonna take an absolute whoop in here. An absolute merkin. Oh, what a sweep, dude. Competitive does come out here. I don't really care. This thing's dead. 
thing is gone. It's gone. Leaf Blade. Uh, yo, yo. Bro, absolutely pieced up. Absolutely pieced up with Leaf Blade. And we get that complete sweep with the Durant and Brazilian combo. Just what I want to show off. Now we can hop into our third and final battle and attempt to go for that perfect record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're going for that perfect record for the online gaming community, baby. For you guys, we're looking for it. But I feel like I've been seeing a lot of these same teams going out on the rank ladder. The Draco Zolt with the Amoongus, the Gengar, and the Urshifu. I just feel like that's been like a kind of staple thing now in Season 6. I don't know. I just, that's probably been the team that I've just been seeing the most. But who should I go into here? I feel like I should roll Trick Room. He has a rather fast team with the Gengar, the Rotom Heat, the Draco Zolt, and the Urshifu. So... Let's get the Trick Room squad rolling. Um, go Clefairy, these two. And I think we just go with the same team that we did in uh, battle number one. I think we're fine with that. I think we can roll out and do some dirty work with that. Because you really only need a Durant and Brizian if you're just going to lead them and go for the beat up and roll from there. I feel like that's like the, the main priorities. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. I think he might lead. Is he going to lead a move? Just go for a sleep? He might. And if he does, I'm just going to follow me and, and attempt to get off this Trick Room. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just thinking right now. I'm just thinking, like, if he leads Amoongus and he puts my Clefairy to sleep and I trick him, he's gonna waste out a lot of turns there. But hopefully, maybe he just leads Gengar and goes for, like, a Sludge Bomb and takes out my Clefairy after I go after and follow me. Because that's kind of what I want. I want to get off the trick room and have Clefairy die out so I can roll in with uh, either Primarina or Vicable and just roll out there, Dynamax, and attempt to win the game. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Because the only thing I don't like doing is leading a Trick Room user without a support bomb with it. Because usually they'll just double up on it and take it out. But this is kind of working in my favor right now. I'm kind of liking this. I'm definitely going to get off this Trick Room and I'm definitely going to go for the follow me. That's exactly what I'm doing. Follow me, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have went for the ally switch, but I feel like this works. Dun, 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 dun. I never really understood the reason for, to go for an ally switch and a follow me, like have them both on it, because I feel like I would only use one. This ally switch works in different instances. But Gengar, go ahead, go for your sludge bomb, dude. Or Dynamax. Or Dynamax, I would love to see it. I would love to see it. You won't? You won't Dynamax Gengar? Hold you. Dude, I told you. He's a little, a little sissy, dude. He ain't Dynamaxing. Get him out of here. Sludge bomb comes through exactly what I wanted. Thank you very much. See you later, fairy. Well, fairy does eat up. Oh, get some poison. Oh, come on. Clefairy, go down here. Clefairy, go down here. will of us comes out. But I failed. Okay. All right, so we're Trick Room in one turn. Definitely go for another follow me here. And see if I can do a little bit of damage on these Pokemon. On these Pokemans. All right, let's get into it. So, Nightshade over on to Gar. I'd rather do a little bit of damage to Gar, considering I think that is going to be the Sashmon. And then just follow me this move right here. And see what we can do from here. Okay, I'm liking, I'm liking this so far. We'll have three turns in with my next Pokemon. I get to decide do I want the Primarina. I'll probably go in with Primarina. Life Orb that, Dynamax it. I'm from there. I can just dump on the Rotom Heat. I can do mad work on Gengar. Gengar's just a glass cannon. So I'm, I'm not really worried about it. Not worried about Gengar. I don't withdraw Gengar. Okay, that's fine. The Fairy goes down either way to Poison. So, that's fine. Primarina's gonna come out here. And I am just dropping a nice little Nightshade. I am just dropping a lovely little Nightshade. And this thing's gotta be on for probably a... I don't even know what this thing's going for. Probably T-Bolt. Just trying to do some pester damage. Yep, Electro Web. Okay, Electro Web. Slowing us down. I'm fine with it. Like, we are in Trick Room. You can slow me down all day. I'm cool with it. But, Fairy's down. I'm with it. I'm with it. Kind of how I want to start off this battle. And now, do I get out Vickable? Hmm. I'm trying to think, do I Dynamax the Vickable? No, because then Fire's just going to absolutely double me. I'm going to bring out you right here, right now. And we're going to roll. I'm gonna, do. I'm gonna bring out Primarina and we're gonna roll with it. Dan it, dan it, dan it, dan it, dan it, dan it. Dan it. All right, nice shade again. For now, you know, I'm a body pressing you. And I'm gonna take out that Rotom Heat. I could just go for a Starfall. Nah, I'd rather uh, set the rain. Rather set the rain. Go after you, yeah. Go after you. Uh, I think Rotom will protect you. Probably play it smart. Take the read. Two more, fool. What you want? But the body press will do a decent amount of damage. Well, I hope so. I hope it will do a decent amount of damage over on the Primarina. And maybe we can just two tap it, get that thing out of the way, and just have uh, my Primarina just keep rocking out on the left side, dealing damage with the max geysers and max star falls. Get it. 
mermaid seal looking thing. What is it? Mermaid slash seal? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Princess seal. Princess seal. And the Dynamax is coming from you as well. Show me the Rotom, please. Please show me the Rotom. I would love to do some monster damage to that thing. Show me the Rotom. No, it's not the Rotom. It is going to be Primarina. It is going to be Primarina. Rotom heat's so good. I feel like I haven't used a Rotom since forever. I feel like they really did fall off. Ever since like the newer seasons came out. Because they used to be used all the time. I'm going to ally switch. You buttery biscuit, dude. You buttery biscuit. Are you kidding me, man? You serious? You serious? You buttery biscuit. Now we're going to set rain for him. E Hate this game. Hate this game, man. I'm going to do a teensy bit of that amount of damage to that thing. And this thing is just going to drop a starfall and take out my configurus, right? That fair to say? Hopefully he goes after my configurus and get out Vickable, and Vickable will be the slowest. You can go for an overgrow. Ooh, stab. Or not stab, coverage move. I think we're coming out here and we eat that up with a hasty little snack. Dan, 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 dan. Grace Train is out and about. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I roll here. Do I ally switch now? I feel like I ally switch. Yeah, two can play that game. I'm gonna ally switch. You wanna play up against me? I could do it all day. We're going for that ally switch. And then Geyser again. I was gonna do more damage than the Star Boy. Considering we got the rain rolling, so that's 1.3 times multiplier. And I think Trick Room has one more turn after this. I think it's one more turn after this. And if Configurus does go down here, I'm totally cool with it. Because then Vickable can get a turn in here and he can go for a T Bolt and do some work up against the Blue Marina. Come on, baby. I want this win. I want it. Make a move, you chump. Make a move. Yeah, two can play that game. You wanna play Alice Switch? I'll play Alice Switches all day with you. We'll do it all day. We'll do it all day long. And this thing's gonna go for an Alice Switch as well. You put it busy, man. Come on. Let me tell you something. Don't do that Alice Switch anymore. Guys, it comes out. This is gonna do a little bit more than the last time. Just a teensy bit more. And we're both just basically wasting our dime. Which is fine. I'd rather both waste our Dynamaxes than just me wasting my Dynamax. Actually, no, nah, she's getting way more value out of the Dynamax, for sure. I feel like, I feel like he is. Does he ally switch for a third time in a row? I say no. I say no, you don't do that. I say you are a liar. You will not do it. There's no way you ally switch three times in a row. Let me just go for a body press. Actually, no, I'm not. Let's Going for a night shade. No way. There's no way you ally switch again. But if he does, this dude's just geniusing. He's th then he's behind me. Like, I haven't even checked behind me. There's gotta be someone behind me, right? Gotta make sure. Like, I hate when someone's reading me so hard, I feel like they're, like, stream sniping me. But I'm like, dude, I'm not even streaming. Like, you gotta be in my room or something. <laughs> okay, see, no ally switch comes out here. My pre-marina should be able to outspeed here. Take out the Rotom, say, get out of my face, and you're gonna take out my pre-marina, which is totally fine. Which is totally fine, because I can attempt to get off another trick room, but I don't think it's gonna work. And this match is starting to clear out now. You're gonna take out Primarina, right? I should predict an ally switch. Predict ally switch. Predict ally switch. No. Okay, Primarina's gone. Primarina, gone. Okay, so it comes down to my Vickable. If I have, I don't think I have one more turn left in trigger. If I do, then that's clutch. That's clutch, because I know Primarina's gonna protect if I do. We'll see what happens. But I'm pretty sure it's over. Mm, because you have just Primarina, Gengar, Trick Room's over. Marina Gengar and I think one other Pokemon. Ah oh, man, I wanted the perfect record. Can Vickable clutch it? I just have to make God tier plays. <laughs> I seriously think Primarina still protects here. Is that correct? I don't know. That's a tough one. I'm gonna go for that. Uh, I'm gonna go go after his Gengar and protect the Primarina protecting because I feel like that's my only way of winning this. Is a Primarina protecting it and us reading it and going out after it. That's our only way winning. That's our only way winning because we are slower in general. I need this thing to protect and I need my boy to eat up or hopefully the Gengar misses something along those lines and get off this trick room and roll out from there. What are you going to do? You gonna give me a chance? Don't let me stay. Nope, Shadow Ball comes out. That's me. <laughs> Not Shadow Ball. 
That's a game, set, and match. Alright, Bigaboo will survive here, though. Well, should. Actually, I don't know. Hydro Cannon is coming out here. Oh, you missed. Hold the phone. Ebo, I need you to KO. It's not gonna KO, though. Told you. Cursed body, cursed. <sighs> game over. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. It's over with. I'm not going to be like that last person. Just let his poor old Milotic die. Vickavolt, I'll keep you alive here. I won't let them murder you. Just gang up on you. But that's it. That's how the cookie crumbles. We go 2-1 and one for today's video. Played pretty well. And that last battle played pretty well as well. But they just got the upper hand on me. One last shout out to my boy Tashar for sending in his team. I absolutely loved it. And I'm so glad I got to show off the Verzine and the Rant. And then the Trick Room side of this team so we got to show off both sides and get a win on each of them as well which is awesome but guys that is going to be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next one peace out everyone